Hi everyone. First I'm going to throw a disclaimer out there that I'm using natural lighting. The sun keeps coming in and out and in and out and it's really annoying. But we'll see how it goes. So I thought I would tell you all about my experience auditioning for drama schools in the UK. It's my first year auditioning. I've never done it before. Um, I am 18. I'm turning 19 next month. So I'm on a gap year. Uh, but I didn't choose to audition last year. And I thought this year I would audition. And so I, I auditioned for Central School of Speech and Drama in London, um, Lippa um, in Liverpool, East 15 in Essex, Birmingham School of Acting in Birmingham, Manchester Met, which is in Manchester, and then I also auditioned for UCLan, which is a university with a really, really good acting course, because I thought I would put it down on my UCAS form and just see how it goes, try something different, um, just as an option. So I'm just going to give some tips and stuff that helped me with my auditions, and they might help you if you're auditioning next year or in the future. The first place I auditioned was Manchester Met, and I was absolutely terrified because I had never auditioned anywhere before, not as big as this, and I wasn't really sure what to expect. Um, thankfully, uh, one of my mates was also auditioning on the same day, uh, which made me feel a lot better because I wasn't on my own. I really enjoyed it. I had a really, really, really good day. And what I found for a lot of the drama schools was that I was really nervous at the beginning and then as soon as you get into your warm up, like all of the nerves go. Try and have the best time, I think that's the most important thing. So I went in for the warm up and that was good and then we got split into groups and we did our audition pieces. You have to do a Shakespeare and a contemporary and that's the same for every drama school and then they might ask for more or less depending on the school um, and what they're doing that year. So I did my Shakespeare. For Manchester, I did um, Hermia's monologue from A Midsummer Night's Dream. And I did a contemporary piece called, from a play called Sparks. And I left and I was exhausted. And that's what I found for a lot of my auditions. Every time I've come home, I've been absolutely shattered. I fall asleep on the train. When I'm at home, I'm just wiped out. And then a few days later, I had my central audition. You have to remember that any audition is to be confident. You've got to go in there thinking, I am the best, I am going to get in. You don't have to have an ego, you have to be like absolutely full of yourself because no one wants someone who's full of themselves. But you need to sell yourself, you need to show them that what you're doing is what you love. Um, and Central is the same thing, I did the same monologues and you start with a warm up again. And we also had a movement workshop and a voice workshop as well, which I didn't have at Manchester. So that was really different, I had to sing a song. Um, so each drama school tells you what they want before you audition and then you have to prepare. Um, and then Central did an afternoon recall, which is what Manchester didn't do. Um, and I didn't get a recall for Central, but I was okay with that because on the day I just felt like I didn't perform my best. Looking back now, I'm not surprised I didn't get a recall. I'm not even upset about it because there were so many just amazingly talented people. And on that day, I wasn't very good. at Lipper the week after. And Lippa was where I wanted to go. It was my favourite drama school out of all of them. And I changed my Shakespeare speech because one thing I felt was that my Shakespeare, my Hermia monologue, just wasn't clicking. I changed it to Isabella from Measure for Measure. And I worked with my college drama teacher and she helped me so much. I literally can't thank her enough. For me personally, having someone to help and guide me and watch me and say, yeah, that's good, that's bad, try it with this, try it with that. Really helped me explore the characters and really helped me to kind of click with them. Do not go into any audition not knowing your lines. Do not go into an audition not knowing your characters. Do research on the play, read the whole play. That's very important. You've got to know the play because if they ask you questions, you need to go and just answer. You need to understand your character's relationship with other characters, work out what they want from the monologue, what they want from the play. Do everything like that, break it down into units and say for this part of speech she wants this so I will do it like this, I will do it like this. And don't just learn the lines and perform it because you're not going to get a genuine deliver. We had a tour, we did a panel, we had a movement workshop and there was an afternoon recall and I got an afternoon recall and there was a few, there's only about six of us and we had to redo our speeches again in front of a panel where they ask questions about me, they ask questions about my speech, they ask questions about my character, and um, they redirected me, then I had East 15, which was the same thing again. They all had the same sort of structure. This time we did our 
contemporary pieces with one person and we did like some movements and stuff first and he redirected us and then we went to another person to do our Shakespeare and he redirected us as well. Some people got re um, redirected, some people didn't. And we had lunch break and then we had an afternoon recall. And I had the afternoon recall. I had a recall on the foundation course. Um, I applied for the degree course, but on the day they assess you and I got a recall for the foundation, which I was fine with. I was completely happy with that. I had Birmingham there and I didn't like Birmingham that much compared to others it's personal preference Birmingham was just you and the panel and you went in and you did um, your contemporary and your Shakespeare and this time they gave you feedback no other place I went actually give you any feedback they just ask you questions and you answer them and that's that um, and Birmingham gave me feedback which was harsh they're never gonna sit there and say you are amazing this back is critical it's you could have done this we would have preferred so i actually left the day feeling a bit kind of deflated about it but then i actually used that feedback for some of my other auditions so it's a good thing but on the day it was kind of sucked and then i had a u clan but that's different that's university so i'm not going to go into that because this is about drama schools but if you want to hear about it i can tell you all about it in another video well i really enjoyed auditioning for drama school despite the stress and the exhaustion and all the work and the money I think the main three things to remember is to be prepared be confident and enjoy it because at the end of the day you are against thousands of people and there's more chance that you're not going to get in than you're going to get in so if you don't go and you don't enjoy it and you don't have the best time you can you're not going to get that much out of it so if you want to hear anything more about any of my auditions let me know and I can make some more of these videos. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day. Bye.